Let's take a look at the org chart feature in Dynamics 365 Sales, which is really helpful if you're working in a B2B scenario, account or client management, where you need a visual representation of what is going on with the contacts that you're working with, rather than just this list kind of view that's in here. This is really simple and completely out of the box. We just click on open org chart here. We have got down the side here, a list of all of the contacts at the account. And you can see that this is nicely grouped by people who are not yet on that org chart and the people who've already been added to the org chart. We've got the hierarchy here. You'll notice no one at the top yet. We're going to sort that out of manager and direct reports and so on, as you'd expect. A couple of other things in here. We have got Edna here marked as the primary contact. If I go back into the account, this is the primary contact that we've got labeled there. So we'll show you how you can actually update that through the org chart as well. And you'll see that we've got these colored circles around the people's icons there. So this one, green circle all the way around relationship health good and steady we're really looking after her yeah not so much here with the CEO relationship health poor and steady this one's somewhere in between what have we got here for Edna poor still poor and steady so it's giving you a visual representation using the out of the box relationship health piece that comes with Dynamics 365 to do anything here, we're going to need to edit the chart, but let me just show you one more view piece here first. So if I click on Sandra's record, we get this panel down the side here. So from the top, if you're using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, that's an additional license that works in here, then you will be able to click through, view her, and you will also get job updates coming through on the screen on the org chart here. We've got all of her details, and importantly, we've got the seller notes. So this is showing me those things that are the notes in the timeline without all of the appointments and tasks and other things in there. And I can add another note in here. Let's say she's ready to purchase. We're expecting her to make a buying decision next month. I've got all my rich tech features in there as well. And so that's all saved in there. So let's go ahead and edit the org chart. Let's uh, close that little window there and click on edit chart. And you'll see straight away that popped up blue dotted lines everywhere. And I can start to move people around. So a couple of things to note here is that you can move people just by a simple drag and drop. So I can take that and we can drag. And you'll see as I go along that there's the little icon with the line through it that shows I can't move somewhere. And then when I do move that person somewhere, that's all good. Let's say that the marketing person also reports in here. And you can also move whole groups of people. So let's say we take this one and put it under here. You'll see that the entire structure moves around. Now I need to put someone at the top here. First thing we want to do is grab this and move it. However, it won't actually let you do that. That's one limitation at the top level there is that you have to, you can't drag it to the top level. What I need to do here is remove this person from the chart. So we're going to do that. And what will happen is it will just move everyone back up the hierarchy. So watch what happens there is that we have got now just Sandra sitting on the org chart at that level. And I can now bring Steve across here into that top position. That top position always behaves slightly differently in there. We can bring other people into the org chart here. So let's say we've got Freya, who's the executive assistant, and she reports to Steve. We can put her in there. But actually, because she's an assistant, we want to show that slightly differently on the chart. We also have this option here to set as assistant, and that's going to pop her up in that sort of sideways position that you would expect to see. If you wanted to change that, you can go back to set as direct report and it will go back into the hierarchy. Now you might have also spotted in there set as primary contact. So let's say Sandra here is the one we're mostly dealing with now rather than Edna. So we can come in here and say set as primary contact done, save that chart, update it successfully. We go back into Ingenious Inks and we can now see that Sandra is the primary contact that's been changed on the org chart. If I change it back here, it will show up there as well. So what's in the org chart is a completely live representation of everything that's going on. The other thing I love here is that you can tag people. So let's go into edit this again and we've got the tags. Now these are the out of the box options. You can use these elsewhere in the system and you can change them, labels and color schemes. I'll show you that in a moment. So let's say that he is a key decision maker. Let's say that Sandra is also a key decision maker. Kevin here, not so much. He's blocked 
unlocking things. Uh, and we are also going to mark Florence here as someone who is an influencer over what's going on. And again, save that chart. So this allows you to put one tag on each person so that you've now got a visual representation. Let's just close this down on the side to give us a bit more screen real estate. And we're starting to get a really good picture of the organization. Let me show you how you can do some configuration here to pick up on those tags. You will need to have a role that allows you to do system configuration or customization to do this part, but I'm in the maker experience on the contact table and I'm going to click through here into columns. And then within the columns, the one I want to search for here is called decision influence label. <laughs> so we'll click on that. Once you know the name of it, it's pretty easy to find decision influence labels. You can scroll down here and you'll see that those are the options that we had to work with in the org chart. Let's say we wanted to add another option in here. I wanted to call somebody a sponsor where we want to track that person internally who's really helping us drive the sale. And I'm going to give that one a color. So we'll choose here a nice shade of blue for our sponsor and that one is done. Let's say I also, instead of a blocker, wanted to change the language here to a detractor. And again, I might not want that bright red color. It's a bit harsh. So let's say we're gonna choose an orange color for that person there, and then we can click save. Navigate back through the hierarchy here to get to a point where you can publish your customizations to push that through to the main application. If you're getting value out of this video, please give it a like to help it reach more people. And also let me know here what else you'd like to see in terms of tutorials and demos for Dynamics 365 sales. So once that's published, let's go back and have a look at our new options in our org charts. Click on the edit chart button and now we have our options here. So we're going to say that Steve is a decision maker. Sandra is actually our main sponsor. Kevin is a detractor rather than a blocker. And then Florence is our influencer and we can save that chart. You can also use those tags in other parts of the system if you want to search for all of your sponsors in a certain industry or something like that. So I've got my contacts view here. Now, if you're an administrator, you can set this up in a column permanently for anyone to use. If you're an individual user, you've always got this option here to edit columns. We're going to go in here and say add columns and the column remember is called the decision influencer. So as soon as I start to type decision, it comes up there and I can click close and apply. You'll see I haven't got many actually in there so far, but if I wanted to find everyone, I could say let's filter by anyone who is either a decision maker or a sponsor in that column and click apply. And those are the ones we were looking at earlier. So any of those features where you want to be able to search and find for those things, those tags are actually part of the underlying data model. So you can use them anywhere in the app that you want, including displaying them in these views or even on the main contact form. Now, if you're not seeing this version of the chart and you've got that older version, you will need to be an admin to do this part, but simply go here into the bottom switcher where it says sales and switch into app settings. Scroll down into that spot there where it says org chart and you'll see that it's a simple toggle switch to go from that old org chart to this much better new one. You'll also find a link there where you can go through to configure the different options for the tags that you want to use. If you'd like to know more about how Dynamics 365 sales works and some of the latest features, check out my video here.